Oh, we'll get ourselves a cutscene. Just a nice scene. This is still the cutscene. It won't let me move. Detective, Brad's here. Oh, that's right. We wanted to see Brad. Well, thank good that triggered automatically for me. Oh, see, I like this. I like when games do stuff like this. There's not really much of a point to it. Maybe sets the tone a little bit. Let's you enjoy the small town and the hills. I like little stuff like that. Brad. Detective? Michael Stone, and this is Officer Blunt. I I had no idea about this incident. I came as fast as I could. It's it's heartbreaking. I understand. Come on, let's discuss this inside. Alright, I'm down to get some answers. Through here, Detective. Don't you have an interrogation room here? Uh, not really. We'd ordinarily use the conference room in such a situation, but it's got a water leakage problem these days. Oh, the rain, it must be, right? Actually, it's water from the second floor washroom. Sorry about it, Detective, but the storeroom's the best we have for now. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway, bring Brad in. We've got a lot to get through. I'm sorry, I'm still a, in a bit of a shock. I just got the news last night. I, I had no idea. It's a weird time. I'm getting married in a few days, and I was so stressed about that. Sent Chris an invitation, not knowing if he'd respond. I hadn't talked to him in months. Then this. I can't believe it. I'm just shocked. Sorry, I'm just repeating myself over and over. Yeah, that's all right, Brad. So how long have you known uh, Chris? Oh, we met during high school. That's when we decided to major in business and were lucky enough to get into the same university. He had an act for it. He'd been helping his uncle run his restaurant since he was 12. Uh, uncle? Yeah, Chris lived with his uncle. He took him in after Chris had uh, been shuttled between his parents and foster home for years. Yeah, I see. So, all right, Brad. I assume you knew Chris well. What was he like? Chris, he, uh, well, he was ambitious as hell, driven and optimistic. He felt inspired by something. He'd do anything to achieve it. Was he with people? Did he get along with everyone? Was he a generally agreeable guy? <laughs> Funny you should ask that. I don't really understand him sometimes, you know. He'd always keep to himself and didn't want to bother with people. Kind of worried me at times. But I just didn't understand the concept of introversion at the time, I think. I do stuff like skip parties just uh, so he wouldn't get lonely on a Saturday night. It bugged the, uh, that bugged the hell out of him. Would he get into arguments with people? Short temper or anything? Oh, no. None at all. I think I've ever seen him lose his temper. No, he just liked his own company, I think. Yeah, see, I don't think we could trust a single thing these locals have to say about him, right? It's all gossip and, and whatnot. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not buying really any of that. I'm not buying a whole lot of anything that the game has told me, except for that Chris shot himself. Because um, obviously we, we saw that happen. However, I got a feeling that it's not going to be as simple as he just simply killed himself. There's going to be something more to it, obviously. So how well did you know Diane? I didn't, really. I'd only met her a couple times through Chris after they'd started dating. Whatever I knew about her, it was mostly from what Chris had told me. She definitely had a power over him, though. He was smitten. I've never seen him like that. Did Chris talk about Diane with you? Did he tell you anything at all? Yeah, he'd share some things during the first couple of months. After the New Year's Eve party, she didn't get back to him. He'd asked for her phone number that night because she didn't get it. She said she'd find out his number and call him if she wanted to. The wait, the lack of response, contact, or even a single call drove him slightly crazy. By the time she did call him, he was done. He was completely into her. The uncertainty made him uh, want her bad. Was he under a spell? Hi. Uh, Diane. 
Um, it's good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you too, Chris. I didn't think we'd be meeting again, actually. I've been waiting for you to call. Holy cow, easy with a desperate tone, boy. Uh, you'd been waiting for... You know what? Forget I said anything. Where are we going? It's a surprise, Chris. My turn to show you something cool. Did he... Did he come home to her being killed and then he shot himself because he couldn't live without her? Oh my god. Uh, I, I got you something, actually. Oh, really? It's a book. You said you wanted to travel, right? To go somewhere far away? The Dreamer's Guide to the World. Yeah, this book is written to inspire people like you. That, uh, it's really sweet, Chris. Thanks. Well, this is us. Come on. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going into the mountains for a nice view, aren't we? Right, here we are. I've got something cool to show you, but first, we'll need that boat. Oh, damn. She's pulling out all the stops, huh? Oh, um, is that your boat? No. Are we stealing it? We're just borrowing it, Chris. Come on, you're not scared, are you? I know you're not. Um, is Chris that much of a stickler to say this isn't right? I don't think he is. I think he might be a little uncomfortable with it, but I think he'll go along. No, I'm not scared. Oh, of course you're not, and you shouldn't be. We're only taking it around for a bit. Plus, if anyone confronts us, I'll talk to them. It'll be no trouble at all. Uh, all right. See if you can get the boat started. I don't know why it's my job to get the boat started. Hold on, I want to check to the right. So remember that they talked about this is like an opposites attract type of relationship, right? He's an introvert, she's an extrovert, and they're each other out of their comfort zones. And they can be, they could definitely be an attractive thing for some people. A red truck, I wonder if it belonged to the boat owner. Oh, this is not how we got here. That's right, we got here with a bus. He's still inside. I don't like this, he could be anywhere. I thought you said you weren't scared. What if he has a gun? He doesn't have a gun, Chris. How do you know? I don't. Drive? Search? Exit? What do you mean, drive? It, is that really an option to, like, leave her behind? I have a feeling we're going to need this fuel for an engine and the boat or something. Heart's open. The key is in there, too. There's a fuel container in the back. There's a bunch of tools. Those pair of gardening scissors might come in handy. Am I... <laughs> Am I really doing this? Alright, got the fuel. I want the tools as well. The scissors. Gotta <laughs> cut something? What is it? What is she talking about? Cut something. Um, all right. There's nothing over here, right? All right. That is so weird that that we might have the option to steal the car, but I'm, I'm guessing maybe the fuel's for this engine. I'm hoping, anyways. There's a rope holding the boat in. A bunch of posts have collapsed around the boat. There's no way I'm getting the boat in the water before I clear them off. Um... Cut rope. Um. Sit inside. Vroom vroom. That's cute. Am I? Am I? Did I even move? What do you mean? Needs a. I'll need to fill this up with fuel. I wonder if there's any around here. So I guess the game didn't really expect you to go to the car first <laughs> and to come here. Um. I am so curious about. If I can steal that truck or not. I really want to do it, but I don't think this guy would do that. 
I think the boat is already pushing it. They're stealing a car? That's something else. All right. Remove fuel? Really? The boat's not going anywhere until I get those posts out of the way. Wait. Oh, okay. Pull out. Ugh. I can't pull these out. I need something stronger to help me out. Oh. Is there a winch on the truck? Also, was this always here? Or did I put this here? Natro. Oh, I see what you're doing. Smart. All right, so that means that I'm not going to seal the car. I'm going to use the... Well, it doesn't have a winch, but I can still probably pull it out. That's dangerous, though. You can mess someone's car up if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm going to need fuel. Can I fuel this up with what I have left, or did I drive? I really got to get out of here, but I'm not going to drive away in a stolen car. All right, so I guess I couldn't have stolen it. That's me overanalyzing. All right, I can now use the truck to pull the post out. See, so you're attaching it to bumpers, and bumpers aren't really made to do stuff like that. I don't, you're supposed to attach it to something a little bit stronger than a bumper. Ugh, no fuel. Why is there no fuel in there? Who did that? Game, you're being a little bit ridiculous. Well, got it all back. I can use the fuel elsewhere now if I need to. All right, the car's filled up with fuel now. That is a long... That was a long scene. Also, where were the sound effects? That was cool. That was vandalism. True. Okay. Got the feel now. Fill fuel. Filled it up. Turn on an engine. It starts! We'll need to push the boat into the water. Is that, has my buzzer been going off all this time? Sorry if it has. I just noticed it now. I'll need to push the boat into the water before we can get moving. Yeah, alright, alright. Push. You're awesome, you did it! Alright, let's go. Okay. This is beautiful. Isn't it? I knew you'd like it. I used to come here all the time a few years back. Just to get away from everything. This was my secret world away from the real world. Why did you stop coming? I don't know. Guess it wasn't enough anymore. Am I dreaming? Is this really happening? Oh, just look at her. Is she even real? Alright, Chris, play it cool. Play it cool. Stop being weird. It's an island. This is incredible. Come on, I'll show you my favorite spot. I'll get there first. Are we going all the way to the rock? I think we're going all the way to the rock. Lady, you can pick up the pace just a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's been years since I was here last. Come here and sit for hours whenever I was feeling overwhelmed. Hello? Yeah. It's the best way, isn't it? Um, happy you're here, actually. 
Oh, come on. That's sweet. But really, I thought you liked your own company. Yeah, I do. But sometimes I can't really enjoy being alone. Because a voice in my head starts worrying me that I might be unwanted. And what good is happiness by yourself if the world doesn't need to or care about you? People don't need you. Is your happiness alone even valid? Of course it is. I know what that's referring to. That's referring to Chris McCandless. He said something very similar to that. That's the uh, that's the guy that um, the rich kid who um, like dumped all his possessions and went um, traveling around the country, the U.S. Um, without money type of thing and living in the woods. Ended up in Alaska, died in Alaska um, with that famous bus that was in Alaska that turned into a tourist spot. Anyways, that's what it was. I think that's what they were referring to because he said something almost exactly like that. So I end up comparing myself to the cool kids like I'm lesser. That messes with me, so I can't really have a good time by myself. Who wants to fit in anyway? Mostly, I don't care. I enjoy working or spending time on hobbies. But it's like, what's the point of all the cool things you do or experience alone if nobody cares? And then maybe doing great work could help be, help, help you be a part of the picture. Maybe fame and recognition could help you claim a place in the world. <laughs> As if uh, great work or fame can make up for personal shortcomings. Well, I've never felt that way cares what people think. I like being myself because that means I don't have to deal with them. People can be horrible. Yeah, some of them. I'm not, just not interested in being a part of their shitty picture. Screw being admired or accepted, I think. Looking for that is a, w a waste of time. But also, everyone feels that way, Chris. At least some of the time. Everyone fears the thought of not fitting in. It's not just you. Don't worry. Really? Doesn't feel like it somehow. Yeah, even people with fame, despite what you think. Most just don't show it. You're fine as you are. Everyone is. Don't be so hard on yourself. Especially you. You're intelligent, ambitious, good looking, funny, and. She told me good looking! So don't worry. Wait, why am I talking about all this and embarrassing myself? Ugh, idiot. What's wrong with me? I should ask her something about herself. Yeah, forget all that. It just bothers me sometimes. It's not a big deal. Tell me about you. Uh, tell you what about me? Um, I would think most people would start with family and childhood. What about your family and childhood? <laughs> oh, wow. What? You chose a topic I care to talk the least about. Try again. Oh. Well, I think previous relations is a little weird. Tell me about your friends. Ah, uh, friends. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about them. Actually, I'm not in a mood to talk about them. Tell me your about yours. She's not really revealing a whole lot about herself, is she? Um, I have some good friends. Brad's one and Emily, you know them. There are a couple of other guys that I meet sometimes. Mostly it's just me and Brad. We're pretty close. Oh, good for you. He's a great guy. I uh, I am being forced to say this. So, um, dating anyone right now? Please say no. Please say no. No? It's been almost a year now. Yes. There were some guys. Some were great. Some weren't. Bad. I'm not in the mood to elaborate. All right. You? Same been about a year. I've only been in a couple relationships. They were fine. Nothing worth talking about. I'm not in the mood to elaborate. Hey, I wasn't the one that brought it up. Alright, alright. I should talk to her about something else. Something she likes. Um. Alright, so this is this is the kind of girl that's not into these to these very generic questions, guy. Um, so, uh, what are your passions? My passions? Wow, you ask such loaded questions. See, I told you. 
I told you. Well, I am. Um, that's okay. I'm kidding. At least you're not just making small talk. I'm terrible at small talk. I know, Chris. You start talking about fireflies. Hey. Anyway, what was it? Oh, my, my passions. I don't know. I don't think I have any. Uh, hobbies? What are the things you do in your spare time? Uh, I listen to a lot of music. I like that. Oh, yeah? What kind? Indie rock, mostly. Trip hop sometimes, though I listen to all sorts, really. I even indulge in some boy bands once in a while. <laughs> really? Do you, do you play anything? I own a guitar. Never got past the basic chords. So, yeah. I guess that's all. Uh, yeah. Tell me what inspires you. Uh, inspires me? Nothing, really. Not everyone feels inspired the way you do. You know. Is there nothing that even, say, like, excites you? No, not really. When I was a kid, maybe. Damn. I do like how you ask me these questions, though. <laughs> And I like listening to you talk about these things. I don't know what keeps you inspired, but it makes me happy. So interesting. She doesn't particularly like some of the questions, but she likes the... She likes that he asked them? I don't know. These are very strange. So what about you? What keeps you inspired? Man, well, so, well settle down then. This might take a while. Never tried describing it to anyone before. It's just an amazing feeling. Random things trigger it, mostly nature or music or a film. For a second, those things give me a tiny glimpse of something really, really beautiful. Ugh, I know it probably sounds crazy, but it's like a vision. It's like a portal to another world, like a, a life I lived once, maybe in another dimension. It's like falling in love, in a way. You know, it just feels different, magical, nostalgic, almost. Or like a dream. You know how dreams feel beautiful? I just feel that. Most of the time. I don't know. All I know is its beauty is its beauty overwhelms me. Just so damn beautiful, Diane. And that that's what keeps me inspired. Damn, did I really just tell her that? Chris, wow. You have a connection with a, a dream world. And there are and there you are, feeling insecure about the stupidest, most irrelevant things. Like, honestly, who cares about things like being popular when you've got that? Hey, grass is always greener and all that, right? Well, then it's a pity that we value the things we don't have. Seriously, you sh really should be an artist or something. I don't know what you're up to starting a business. Uh, maybe, but I'm good at this business stuff. And hey, it pays the bills. You know, talking about all this is actually kind of exciting. Maybe you could ex inspire me. Uh, I'd love to. Nobody's really interested in this stuff usually. Well, I'm very interested. Oh, hey, look, it's dark now. Stars have come out. Whoa. Diane, you're incredible for getting me here. Look at the stars. Look at them. Look at the water, Chris. What? Oh, the water is glowing. Why is the water glowing? Try walking in it. Oh, whoa. That is a pretty shot. Is it wanting me to do something? Oh, it's wanting me to... Oh, it literally wants me to walk in it. Okay. Oh, it's following me. <laughs> the glowy stuff. Oh, what? All right, come back. I think we should... I don't have control of the text right now. I think we should be heading back now. Really? Now you're worried about going back? It's getting dark. I don't want you to drown or something. Not before I get to know you better, at least. Come here. I want to go... Oh, wow. My shoes are all wet now. Why am I slow running? What was that? No, wait. Y you know what? I'll regret it if I don't do this now. Huh. Do what, Chris? I am... Um, I think I want to swim in this water. Oh, the... Wait, what? 
This is gonna be so freaking cool. Wait a minute. How deep is this water again? Oh, this is amazing. This, this is uh, Diane. Listen, why don't I have nipples? Or a nose for that matter. I don't know why I went to the nipples first. Well, I, I, I think he really enjoyed that. It may have even been some sort of spiritual experience. After that, Diane disappeared from his life once again. Chris didn't hear from her for weeks. What? What? After all that, she disappeared for weeks? Some fishies going on. So obviously, Chris couldn't believe it when she asked him to come over to her place all of a sudden. That was the thing with Diane, really. And it's that unpredictability that Chris drew, that drew Chris in, I think. I think they're doing... I, I think they're doing a good job with tackling a relationship like this with an opposites attracts type of thing. Because that's not something you really see that often. And at least in games. I guess maybe in movies you do. Every now and again. But not really in games. I don't think. Not that I've experienced. So she's just showing here saying, Hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, Jason. Um, Diane, finally. I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to call again. Well, of course I was. Oh, why don't you just give me your number? This is so inconvenient. I always have to wait. Well, I enjoy it. Anyway, there's no one at my place and I've just ordered pizza. Too much of it. You want to come over and help? Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I'm at taking the risk, but just come before I change my mind. Risk? Um, so where's your place? How do I get there? Oh, I can't believe I'm actually here. Shut up. I never meet anyone at home. I don't really, I don't know why I called you. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure your parents would like me. Wait, how old are they? Wait, how old are they? She's still living with her parents at this point? I, I, I thought they were older than that. I, I'm confused. I love this. What, making coffee? Yeah, it, it, moments like these. It's raining outside. We're just chilling, making coffee in this warm kitchen. Plus, we've got pizza on the way. So, stuff that's kind of normal. Doesn't make it any less beautiful. You always make observations like this. I... Uh, not always. Only around you, I think. It reminds me of that scene from Everything Everywhere All at Once when Wayman was like, in another life, I would have been happy doing laundry and taxes with you. Feels very similar, doesn't it? Um, is it annoying? No, not at all. I like it. It's just kind of new to me. Okay. When are your exams? So yes, they are younger. Um, so is this is this high school? I didn't think this was high school. I was thinking this was like mid twenties. So maybe I got that all wrong. Um, end conversation. No. So um, when do you have your exams? Uh, exams? What have you been preparing for? So you can study abroad? Oh right, that. There's a few more months to go. I'm not sure if I really want to take them though. Why not? I'm only taking those so I can get away from this place, but I don't know. Maybe there's a better way. So did you uh, read that travel book I gave you? I didn't really get the time to. I, I, I did flip through it, though. It looks really interesting. I'm just waiting for the right moment so that I can enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, you should read it. It's great. Then you can really make a plan and work out how to execute it. Yeah, I will. So, um, I'll be moving to Pineview soon. I've been looking around and I've found a couple of good places I could move into. Hotel I'm planning to start there? That should also work out. I've met the planning committee and checked out a few possible sites too. Oh, that's great. What do you think you'll move? Next month, hopefully. Really admire you, you know. 
Uh, a what? You go out and you do the things you want. You don't just let dreams remain dreams. I admire that. You know what else this reminds me of? This relationship? Um, it reminds me of, um, To the Moon, in a way, with River and Johnny. Because that was an opposites attract type of thing as well. Now that I think about it, I, after I just said that you don't really see it in games, it wasn't To the Moon. This is, this is a little similar. A little. Ah, well, thanks. Uh, where's the bloody pizza? I can't wait anymore. Listen, buddy. Settle down. Oh, uh, wow. Why is she wowing? She wows a lot, doesn't she? Well, I don't... Is he drinking coffee with his pizza? I don't normally just get to just lounge about and eat pizza for hours. I could get used to this. Why don't you, though? Oh, you know, this stuff. Anyway, thank you for coming. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you did. Oh. Oh, 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 was it bad? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> Listen, guy. I am? This is getting a bit close for me. You, you, you shouldn't. Um... No, I don't think he'd say, hey, you kissed me. I, I don't understand. The more you get to know people, the less you can stand them. You said that. <laughs> oh, damn, she's throwing that back in my face. Well, that was different. That was before I met you. Well, you don't know me, Chris. When you do, you won't like who you'll find. You won't like who you find. So she's probably got some weird quirks. She's probably like a... She's probably like a psychopath or something. And I don't mean she's about to go around killing people. I, I'm just saying... I don't know. No, maybe not a psychopath. Something different about her, though. We gotta figure it out. Um... Is there something wrong? Something I need to know? I think... I think you should leave. Uh, Diane, come on. Please, Chris, my parents are probably on the way home anyway. Um, okay. W when will I next see you? I, I don't know. I'll call you. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. After that, Chris and Diane began to meet a bit more frequently. Same time, I started seeing him a lot less as well. Uh, when did you see him next? Um, detective, I need to be somewhere else in a bit. Is it okay if we pick this up again tomorrow? Listen, he drove all the way here, and he's like, I gotta go? Uh, of course. Thanks for your time, Brad. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I mean, so in the end, I still didn't really learn anything about the murder, right? That, that, nothing about that really told me anything about the murder. Well, that's it for today, looks like. Yeah, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, detective. I wander about, perhaps, maybe? Um, where am I at? Wait, is there not a you are here type of thing? Maybe I'm blind. I know my place is this way, though. The hotel. Happy Valley. And then there's Main Street. Oh, look at all the butterflies. What was that? I think that was a weird flicker. Um, I might restart my game. Listen, Rick, we need to talk about how you spell your name. What's up with that? So far, it doesn't seem like the kind of game. So like in Night in the Woods, um, it, it has a very similar format where there's where there's days. But in Night in the Woods, you want to check the entire town because there's new things 
that people say every day. This game doesn't seem to really go that far. Maybe maybe because the town is a bit bigger than Night in the Woods, and it would take you a long while to talk to to like visit every location to check on everything. So maybe that's just not a thing. It doesn't seem to be a thing. Most of most of the interactions I have are on the way to where I need to go. Hey, detective, I need your help again. There's a song I'm having trouble with. It goes, caught in the safety net, meant to break my fall, killed by certainty now that I know it all. Mysteries of those cold, dark nights lost, rising sun of reason. I think what the game needs to do is it needs to put that lyric up so I can see it while I'm looking at this, because I have already forgotten what it said. Rising sun of reason tends to exhaust, melts the frost. Comes at a cost, signals it's time for coffee and toast. Um. Rising sun of reason melts the frost. That, that's beautiful. It makes so much sense in so many ways. Thanks, detective. I'll use this one the way it is. Yeah, glad I could help. So when do I get to hear these? Also, I am making sure I am getting writing credits on these. Oh, there, there's a lot to be done yet. A lot. Uh, not for a month at least. Maybe even two. Oh, I may not be here that long. Then you'll just have to come back if you want to have a listen, eh? Watch it be like an end credit scene. Like the game ends, there's the credits, and then you, you see Detective Stone uh, at, at his house and the doorbell rings. It's the mail and it's the... It's the... The music. Uh-oh. Oh, hello, Mr. Stone. Sleep well last night? Uh, yeah, the bath helped. Told you it would, didn't I? I'm quite busy today. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday. Do, do people actually, like, sink in baths at hotels? Like... When I go to a hotel, I'm I'm always it's either sandals or you put a a towel down on the bottom. Stuff can spread in bathtubs like that. There's fungus out there that can spread. So I, I don't I never let my teeth my teeth oh my god I never let my feet touch the the bathtub or whatever they have in there standing shower even. So I find it weird that someone would actually lay down and soak in a hotel bathtub. Do people do that? I don't know. I got a lot of preparations preparations to do for this, this special day. Yeah, well, I'll leave you to it then. Give my best wishes to him. Alright, see you around. I'll check that in a moment. Yeah, so far the game hasn't really rewarded me for exploring, so I'm not gonna I'm not sure I'm gonna do much of it. But old habits die hard. I like to explore. <sighs> yep, yeah, I feel you, bud. Let's dim the lights. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to. He straight up refused me dimming the lights. Um, okay. He doesn't want to do anything, and it won't let me change it to my jammies am i just gonna pass out in bed like this then i guess so oh okay talk to hi you've reached abigail and and uh, michael we're not at home right now so please leave your message name and number after the beep i guess i said that was quick Hey, it's all right. I'm here now. I really am. I'm happy you've let me back. You come with me for good. I, I shouldn't just leave or, or give up. You shouldn't, but you know there's nothing here for you anymore, don't you? Think about it. I'll be waiting. I had no control over those. They went so fast. Mm. 